stay far away from southeast with Islamic militia. I pop one sasare okobo. Hello, great viewers and subscribers of my time. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time zone. You're welcome to this noble channel where everybody is trying everything possible to stop me. But we are going to continue to move. Now, according to the news of today, the indigenous people of Biafra, I pop, led by the indefatigable, the Brett Thomas Namdekan Oku Kano, wishes to draw the attention of our people to what is happening and what is about to happen. We are calling on the Nigerian government to stop funding a fueling insecurity in Biafra land, particularly the Southeast region. It is unfortunate that Nigerian media and Igbo political leaders are moot over the formation of pro-government Islamic militia headed by Aji Asar Dokobo, who were among the group causing mayhem that is sweeping across Igbo land when IPOP launched ESC in December 2020 to protect our bushes and forests from Fulani terrorists. The Nigerian media and some Igbo politicians were against our self-defense project. Most of our people did not foresee what we saw then, but we are deceived to our knowledge the danger facing our region from Fulani henchmen with convince of Nigerian security agent. With connivance of Nigerian security agent, but today ESN has managed to secure our bushes and forest for our people to go back to farm which was hitherto impossible due to Fulani massacre. Currently, Biafrans, particularly in Dibo, are confronted with threat from the new pro-government Islamic military group formed and controlled by Asare, but funded by the Tinibus government and APC party. Unfortunately, some prominent Igbo men and women are behaving as if they are not aware of the danger ahead. The ongoing security in our region are masterminded by the 50 colonists and their militias. Their agenda are first to make peaceful Biafra agitation look violent before the international community secondly to create an unsafe environment in order to discourage our people from bringing their investment home, even as they are being victimized in the northern and the western Nigeria. The state sponsor insecurity may not end soon. It may lead to something better imagined if we don't stand up to confront those sponsored military group contracted to destabilize Alibo, Asari Dokobo, the leader of this pro-government Islamic military trance so far suggests that he has an evil agenda which is being spawned, fed him by powerful authorities against him. Our people must wise up now and prepare ahead of what which is to come from the creek told and his paymasters. There is need for our people to rise up now and support IPOP as we have already volunteered to protect our region in case of any eventuality. ESC operatives have done wonderful in combating the murderous activities of Flanny terrorist nickname has meant through the financial contribution of IPOP members worldwide. But more remains underdone as those funding the violent Islamic conquest of our land are not giving up. The state and community sponsors Vidanti as much as they do their best and completely under the control of the government via Nigerian police, hence incapable of confronting the government backed terrorists. But ESN has the independence, capability, strategy, and the manpower to confront and stop the onslaught of flying terrorists and pro government Islamic community that is about to launch a heavy attack at our region in case the political event turned against Nibu. The community of Atlanta do not have suffocation. Sorry guys, the community of Atlanta do not have a suffocation like ESN operatives to stop what is coming. It is time our people shun bigotry against IPOP and reason with us in order to protect our region. The recent viral video where the pro-government Islamic media led by Asad Okubo was brandishing 
assault rifles did not attract any media or federal government opera. That alone is a testament to the tacit support of the federal government of Nigeria. We in IPOB have nothing against anyone forming any media to provide security as long as such media group does not target peaceful IPOB members and Biafra restoration agenda. They must know they are limited, like IPOB and ESN knows theirs. We are keenly watching as the agenda unfold, and we will not hesitate to confront any group contracted to destabilize our land. Where are the businessmen and women, and governors, politicians, compromised media house, and one Nigeria who condemns them the canon for forming ESM? Why are they quiet over this pro-government Islamic community led by a well-known Igbo Heta, as a Tokobo, Ndibo, both big and small, is the target of this military group. Particularly, the Igbo leaders, if you fold your hands, you may fall victims to those murderous militia, and the government will use their compromised media to blame IPOB ESN or unknown government as usual. As IPOB resisted, the use of full enhancement for finalization agenda by the previous Fulani government. This current Islamic government has contracted the Biafran trend Islamic jihadist Asad Okobo, who has recruited criminals to continue the radical Islamic conquest agenda in disguise of combating insecurity. Igbo land is a top priority for the Islamic regime. In Nigeria, all the agenda we fought because Chukwu Kabia is with us. Nobody should blame Apple and ESN for confronting us at the Kubo's lead Islamic military should they go beyond their limit by encroaching into our land. Comrade Mapua for Media and Publicity Secretary of IPOP. Now that I've come to the end of the news, my analysis, I have told you people several times that Asari is a terrorist. But getting him out of the way is a small thing. He continued to cause problem and mayhem in our land. He continued to rat in the social media and insult Igbo men. The day he will be taken on our ways, even his members will not see how he was taken away. Some of you will think that I joke whenever I speak here. Who no go? No, no. I have continued to tell you that Asad is a small flag. He was trained by Islam, no doubt about it. But those who knows him, knows him. And knows what to use to get him out of the way. It's just that. When I look around, <laughs> I laugh. I laugh because some people don't understand. But time shall tell. Time shall tell. If he continues this way, he will end up like some of his Niger Delta brothers who refuse to learn. I think I've come to the end of this news. J. Biafra.